Hello there. Welcome to another tutorial video for Mod.io. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to make AI units in your game. So let's just go ahead and get started by creating a new game. So we're going to go to Make Games and then click on Create Game. Uh, we're going to select blank template and then we'll just name the game AI Tutorial. Um, we'll set it in this environment and this is good enough. So our game has been made. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens when we play the game. So as you can see, if you click on play game, uh, nothing happens. It's just the empty game with a, a unit. Now let's go ahead and create a, an AI unit. So it's, it's going to be an NPC unit. So we're going to go ahead and create new unit. Uh, we're going to click on flying unit. We'll call it AI unit. And we'll save it. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to map. And just for sake of testing, right, I'm going to create a region. And I'll call it spawn. And this is where our argument is going to spawn. And then we're going to create another region right next to our spawn region. And we're going to call it AI spawn. So this is where the AI unit is going to spawn. And we are now going to go to the script for when player joins the game. And instead of creating our unit at a random position in the entire map, we'll create our own unit inside the spawn region that we just created. And we're also going to create a new script. And this will run when the game starts. All right, and what we're going to do is we are going to create a unit, uh, uh, the AI unit, the dragon looking one that we just created. And we'll create it for the AI player at a position, at a random position inside the AI spawn region. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So we will republish the game. And wow, okay, there's <laughs> a couple of people playing the game already. But as you guys can see, the, the dragon does absolutely nothing because it has no AI. So we are going to program some simple response, uh, or not response, simple behavior uh, that this uh, unit is going to um, behave on its own. So um, before we get into programming, let's uh, look over this uh, summary of uh, what the AI, how the AI will behave. So the AI unit will have four different states. So the states are the states that are inside um, the unit. So if you go look at the, the AI unit, there are currently two states. We have default and dead, uh, but we should add a few more states. So we have uh, the idle state where the unit does absolutely nothing. Um, and it's going to do that for about five seconds. And then it's going to switch to wander state. And during the wander state, the unit is going to move in a random direction for five seconds. And then it will switch back to the idle state. So they'll uh, switch back and forth unless something else, something happens to the AI unit. Um, and then there's going to be a attacking state where the, the unit is going to chase its target unit. Uh, and it's going to constantly attack while it's chasing the target. And, and we're going to set a timer so that it only chases its target for so long and then eventually give up, OK? And then we have a dead state where the AI unit will die and be destroyed from the game. So let's go ahead and create the, the first two states first, the idle and wander. Uh, so we are going to add a new state. We'll call it, we'll call it idle. The animation will remain the same as the default animation, and the body will also be the default animation or the default body. Um, so that is good. And then we're going to create another state. We'll call it uh, wander. And again, same, um, same animation and same body as the default. OK, great. Uh, and we are going to create an attribute. 
right? And we'll call it AI um, timer. Okay. And how it it's going to run out um, slowly, so we're gonna have it regenerate. Uh, well, it's technically degenerating uh, at one. Um, so it's slowly going to it's going to start from hundred and it'll slowly uh, go down to zero. I should call it, um, we'll make it slightly smaller. It's at 100, we'll, start, we'll have it start from 20, uh, and then it will um, decrement one at roughly every 200 millisecond. So it, it'll lose about five every second, um, and eventually it'll become zero, okay? So we have this attribute, which is a timer. So we'll set that for this unit. Now, what I'm going to do is, First of all, I will um, I'll create events. So I'm going to create a folder, and we'll call it AI. Sorry, unit events. Okay, and we'll have it triggered when the attribute, the AI timer attribute, becomes zero. So AI timer expires. So that's when this script will get triggered. Um, and it'll get triggered when the unit's attribute becomes zero or less, and we'll check for the state, okay? So, well, we'll check for the unit type first, right? So we'll check if the unit type is, so unit type of the triggering unit, if that's the AI unit. So if that's the case, then we'll check for the attribute type. Sorry, um, it's an if statement. We'll check if, so attribute type comparison, if the triggering attribute is same as uh, AI timer, okay, then we'll check for the state of the unit. So if the state of the triggering unit is uh, default, okay, then we are going to set the unit. So we'll set our yeah, we'll set entity state, which we're going to set it for the triggering unit, um, to wander, OK? So what's going to happen is as soon as the unit spawns, it's going to have the AI timer at a value of 20. And it'll slowly go down until it hits 0. And because it starts off at the default state, it's going to switch into wander state, OK? And then it will. So hold on. what we're going to do is, so just going back to the AI timer expires, um, it will reset the AI timer. Okay, So we'll set the attribute. So the AI timer of the triggering unit, we'll set it back to 20. All right. Okay, so it'll go back to 20. And then after uh, the timer of 20 expires again, then it will uh, re-trigger this script. So, so when it's default, right? So when default switch to wander, right? That's what we're doing here. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And what's going to happen when it's wandering? So if the state was wandering, and if the the timer expires. Then we're going to switch to idle, OK? And then, one more time, and if the state was idle, then we'll switch the AI. Oops. Um, yeah, if it's idle, then we'll switch it back to the wander, OK? Idle, OK, there. So if you take a look. Um, it checks for the states. I should probably have the uh, the ifs under the else. So yeah, if it if it if the state was default, then it'll change the state to wander, um, and then it'll set the timer to twenty. And then after the timer expires, then the script will run again. And now that the AI is in wander, it will switch to idle, um, and then it'll let the, the timer expire, and then it's going to get triggered again. And then if the state was idle, it'll switch back to wander, and then the timer will expire again. 
And when it gets triggered, now that the state is wonder, it checks for the states and then yes. So it, now that the state is wonder, it'll go back to the idle state. So it'll go back and forth in between these two states. Okay. Now let's go back to the every frame script. So I'm hoping you guys are familiar with this script. This is the script that gets run uh, at every frame. So roughly every 50 millisecond, as you can see. And uh, what it does is it moves units um, based on like what the what the player is pressing, and it only moves the unit that's currently controlled by human. But now we have now that we have an AI unit, right? So we're gonna create another state or um, another script, and it will check for the unit type. So if the unit type of the selected unit equals is equal to AI unit. Okay, and we'll uh, do another if statement where if the state of the unit, so state of the selected unit is equal to um, wandering. Okay, so if it's supposed to be wandering, then we're gonna move this unit to a random direction. So we're gonna apply force at an angle, we'll apply, let's say, force of five uh, on the selected unit at a random angle. So because we are using radians, the number has to be between zero and two pi. Um, so what I usually do here is I select um, a random number between zero and 700, which is roughly, give or take, two pi, well, 650 maybe. Uh, but anyways, I pick the number between 0 and 700, and then I divide that by 100 so that I get uh, the number between 0 and 7 um, at two, dec two decimal places. Okay, so we'll do that, and let's publish the game and see what happens. All right, so there's our dragon, and... Uh, as you can see, it's moving at a random direction, and then it stops, so it's in idle state. And then all of a sudden, it'll start moving again for a while, and then it'll go back to the idle state. So uh, I'm going to wrap up the uh, part one of the AI tutorial. I'll uh, make a new video for part two, and in that video, I'll show you guys how we can make AI units uh, to attack your, uh, your units and, and chase it. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.